we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed what is hidden is meant to be disclosed <laughs> If you have ears, he says here. That he gave us two years. Hearing is very important. Even James says that be swift to hear. But the master says that be careful what you hear. Why? Because with the measure you use, with the attention or concentration you give to what you are hearing, it will be measured to you even more. So the attention you give to what you hear, plus or minus, negative or positive, will be measured back to you. It, it has the potential to take from you or bring something to you, give something to you, and even add what you didn't even intend to hear. Now we be to me and I be Now let me illustrate this point with this story. There was this woman that we met in one of our stations. Now she was said to have been fabulously rich. But when we got there, she wasn't like she used to be. Some scammers came to her and sub suggested some business deal. So they said something to her. But the measure she gave to what she had, she went to her bank and thinking that this is a good deal, brought all that she had. And not knowing that these were fraudulent guys, and all that she had, she lost it. They spoke. She had. No problem. But the concentration she gave caused her to go into her chamber and brought money. And Jesus said, be careful what you hear. Even what you have, what you have heard, can take it away from you. Consider carefully what you always hear. Mark 5, 35. Mark 5, 35. And 36. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead. Now, this is what they, they, they said. Why bother the teacher anymore? Now, Ogusore Kasano will freeze your damn penny in the country and say, now they said this not to Jesus, but they said it to Jairus. And verse 36 says this. Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, Don't be afraid. Just believe. Now, Jesus said, the Amplifier and other version says that Jesus ignored what he heard. What they said was, your daughter is dead. Then Jesus said, ignore it. Don't pay attention to what you have heard. Don't concentrate on that. Just believe. 
does believe. Jesus ignored what he heard. He gave no attention to it. Brothers, bitterness has seeds of resentment. Seeds of anger. Ill feeling in the heart of people. In the hidden man. But depending on the space of concentration you give to it in your heart. It will grow. And become big. It will have branches. And all sorts of bears. Will come and Page on it. The concentration you give to it. It may begin as a displeasure. Small seed. Over a mere comment. Mere comment. Mere comment. Oh. Ah. Uh, so don't you have any shoe? Don't you have an issue? Simple comment. This small seed. When you wake up in the morning and you dwell on it, why did the sister say it? Don't I have an issue? You keep dwelling on it to grow. To be a big tree. It will have branches. And demonic birds. Will come and perch on them. Mere comments. Mere insults. Because I love like me. <laughs> a certain woman that I knew. I know me name he said when you are used, when, when people insult you it remains stuck on you when people insult you it is not stuck on you let's say that I go to this brother and, say, and he insults me and I turn and I go this way as the insult follow me to you will you know that he insulted me unless I tell you so when people insult you, uh, in 2010, during the World Cup, there was this Coca-Cola advert. Uh, it's like you pour something on it, then it will shake itself up. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> so when people insult you, <laughs> yes, yes, push it aside. Because once they, if they say, look, look at his mouth. <laughs> this thing is gone. But if you concentrate on it, mm. It's a mere disappointment. You cannot always appear on time. Sometimes conditions can make you lazy or situations. Just some disagreement. No, even Paul and Barnabas, there was a sharp disagreement, yet they could still manage the mission. Paulo and Barnabas. A mere disaffection. Some disapproval of conduct. But the concentration you give it is a problem. It can create a monster out of you. And cause a huge problem for you and for many. See, you are against this man. But now it is affecting your relationship with his family. You had an issue with the pastor. 
Now only software e wa asem o. But now it's affecting your spiritual life and your church attendance. Now so no ntihw say say untimi mpo nko asore na untimi nyi wo hu hu. What should we do? The dey e na e be ya fa we no mo. If it were the devil. Hwe senka your bon samoa. You would have taken it out quickly. Hwe obey ya to atwe ntem. James chapter 1 verse 21. O mi e hwe Yakobo eti e di kan yi mu aduonu ba ko no. James 1:21. Shall we read together? Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can, which can save you. Ainti muni efi eni boni muro swani na entonchene na mufa ojo eni asema watenu mumu no a ebetu me a demokrano. See if the word planted in you can save you. I don't know what asema watenu mumu no betu me ajemoa. Then the moral filth and the evil that you need to get rid of can destroy you. Eni na boni muro swa udi hinta omu no ebetu me asel. So get rid of the moral filth. Enti umi antu enu mu engu. Get rid of the resentment. Yenyi ni a emfra no entungu. Get rid of the seed. Yi sa wonyu no abei tochene. And get rid of it quickly. Na yifri umu entem. Get rid of it quickly. Yeah, no ten 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 ten. Don't concentrate on it. Me fwa juni no wakume niye. Because the measure you give, it shall be measured to you, and even more. Saan wobe susu di ama o na we wadi bibe kahon. What you have, yeah, uwa no. Because of what you are hearing, saan di uti enti can take away even what you have be to me agent your one unpo everyone sam don't let someone's ugly behavior mama obi abrabo a emfra no i've said destroy your beautiful heart say your medical can no and say wakuma fefe no be careful of seeds of resentment in the heart hwe hu ye awonwo no aba ehinta akomen mu no don't say that it is hidden men can say we ehinta it will bow me be revealed kwen bia so e be pue what is concealed near wakata so no is meant to come out e be ba be dey di pe fe i hope you have received something you say we say can be bia nwumre i'm praying that god will be with you you empire ma we say urade be kan so that you concentrate on what is on the inside na o be hwe ne wo mu no yi see there are certain people on this planet earth i don't know nipa bi wa asasi so a that you can never match them boot for boot we are dey want me for hunt to one there are some tough guys you nipa bi a wo ho odin yi When they pick a grudge against you, so only one yan tokwa. So only God. That can help you. No abuwa. They will never stop. Oh yeah, they will not. So even people like that. Enti nipa watete sa. You be careful of your heart. She wakuma. Yeah. You don't follow them. Me ni wonge ti. Let them continue with their reviring. Ma one two one ne one ne so. But for your anointing sake, now so we must rent it for your life's sake. Unquenti for your children's sake. Oma enti for the sake of heaven. Yeah, Osra himai for the sake of your future. Oda chi enti get the seed out. You shall be to chene and get it out quickly. Na yena to chene tam. Don't concentrate on that. Then for what you know, I come and need it. Take what you have even out. Anya kakra wo no obegye no wonsem. May the Lord bless your good heart. Ewu adi nsira wakuma fefe. And may the Lord cause you to work on your heart. No oma wonya wakuma pay ho adwuma. Because it is truth true. E san se da so e ye no kure fefe. That blessed are the pure in heart. Se nsira ene wo wakuma mutie. For they shall see God. Na won wo be hu onyankopa. Shall we rise up in prayer? I don't know my obrasi am yen sorry one pipe. If you don't know Jesus as Lord. Unim Christ was say wura. I want to give you an opportunity to receive him. If you will, why kradwa? Just pray this prayer after me. And me must ampa it yeah. Dear Lord, today I repent of my sins. I've heard so many grudges against people. I've heard your word. I repent of my sins. I give my life to you. Come. And be my Lord forever. Now, if you are praying this simple prayer, you are born again. You are saved. 
find a good church and join us. Now I want you to lift up your hands wherever you are. Now you may be a member of the church or a Christian but you are holding on to some grudges. Don't say that it is his fault. We are talking about your heart and what you can do today. Shall we lift up our hands and let us firstly thank God for what we have heard and let us move on to truncate any progression of what we have planted.